The Benville Film Festival is welcoming filmmakers from all over the country this week, with many screening their projects for the first time. Five News photojournalist Sam Reed talked with one filmmaker from New York about the premiere of her work called The Cab and why she wanted it to be seen for the first time in Bentonville. Hey, I am Nicole Malillo, and I am the creator of The Cab. Nicole Malillo's journey into the film festival circuit began with her time at NYU Tisch. In my case, it was great because I was able to start working while I was already in college. So what happened was I got my junior year at NYU an internship working for Martin Scorsese and his company, and then that internship turned into a job, and then that job turned into a position on the HBO series Vinyl. The inspiration for her film The Cab came from the Greek myth of Charon and the River Styx, a tale of wandering souls finding their place in the afterlife. So the Cab originally, when I wrote it first, was I was like, hey, the River Styx, what if that ferry boat was a taxi cab in New York? I'm a New Yorker, so I was like, I mean, that's my ferry, like, you know, that's my, and what if a taxi cab was purgatory? That, and I'm like, well, New York City, if you've been into a New York City taxi cab, you know that it's purgatory. The Cab is a short form narrative drama that explores the mind of a young woman following her tragic suicide. Suicide is unfortunately a major character in my book of life. Um, I. Thankfully, personally, I've been able to like evade its grasp, but it has taken hold of a lot of my loved ones in, in unfortunately, various degrees of success. From the first line of her script, Nicole spent time working with a psychiatrist to properly capture an authentic experience without glamorizing suicide ideation. I feel that I can really like widen out and understand these my loved ones and people with this condition, and. I, and it gives me, I think, a little bit more of a ability to talk about it in a non-painful way for both me and the people I'm talking with. Nicole proudly wears a Kate Spade taxi cab necklace in honor of the late designer who tragically took her own life. She says to her, the cab represents the confrontation of darkness and overcoming a battle within. If you don't release that pressure valve of darkness, it will consume you. Nicole says the main character in the cab could be like many people we encounter in life. Someone who seems like they have it all on the outside while hiding their true feelings. The filmmaker says she wants to address the sensitive subject in a way that is both informative and visually memorable to her audience and the community of creatives who welcome important storytelling at the Benville Film Festival. To both validate the experiences of people who feel it in a real, a real way that isn't violent or gratuitous. That's why I made that movie. And then I also made it for people like me who love people who feel that way. And Bentonville is the perfect premiere for a film like this because it validates that this film does hit that mark and that it will mean something to people and that it, and that it, it that my mission is valid in a way. I definitely feel that they understand me here and I, and I, I, I hope that they set the standard for more festivals like that um, because in this world where rights are being taken away and it feels like everything's on fire all the time to have venues that lift you up and lift your voices up in the way, and lift up the voices of creative activists and, and creating a platform for voices that have something to say. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Sam Reed, 5 News.